So, this is it. Um, we finally got up the Martin guitars to uh, the big boy. Um, this is it. Dreadnought Martin pre-war. This is, in, in this case, 1935. This is the Holy Grail, as far as I know. Um, the first full year of production, I believe, of the 14 fret. Um, um, 14 fret. Um, version of the Dreadnought Martin. Before this, they were um, they were 12 frets to the body and uh, a slotted head stock. Um, they started making those again during the folks here in the 60s and referred to them as with the S afterwards, and, which I guess meant slot head. Some people have said it means special. Um, it's uh, I, I, I've asked different people. I got different answers about that from a lot of people that know a lot about Martin guitars. It's a uh, Rosewood pre-war appointments on a D28 are really, really pretty. Uh, this is this beautiful straight grain rosewood, and I'm trying to get the reflection out of that. But one of these days, I'm going to have real whites for this, and it'll be different. But, um, yeah, you'll probably see something weird behind you that I didn't intend for you to see because it's pretty shiny because this thing was oversprayed, not completely refinished, but the bridge and the bridge plate were were replaced at some point which is pretty common ebony bridges when they're old tend to split and uh it runs with bridges too but ebony's pretty brittle and uh, bridges take a lot of the tension they take a, a lot of heat and the bridge plate which is the piece underneath um uh, you know basically matches this on the underside of the body and what they do what both pieces do is reinforce the top uh well the bridge plate reinforces the the soft spruce and the top wood to keep the, these bridge pins under pressure from just tearing holes in it and the bridge itself which is also hardwood is what this is like you know where the two wires go into your speaker on on a speaker this is what transmits the sound from the strings to the top of the guitar is the bridge so you know the technology in, involved in bridges is a huge deal but like i've said earlier every there's not anything on this guitar especially on a mark guitar that's not contributing to the tone the back trim is that um that is some people call that zipper trim the these the, the bluegrass guys call these these herring bones are just bones and what they're referring to is that herring bone pattern around the binding as my buddy Webb Wilder says. The binding. He's very he got very excited about a custom telecaster that he had and it's all about the binding. But um anyway, um so this is uh the bluegrass monster. Uh, I keep because of most of my guitars that I play every night, uh like my finger style guitars and um even my electric guitars I use twelve, you know, through fifty four, fifty six with a wound G, um, my electric guitars, my acoustic guitars, most of the ones you see me play, except when you see me play with the bluegrass band with the dreadnought guitar, these are, are 13s. These guitars, dreadnoughts and my arch top guitars, I have, you know, big O strings on them. And there are people that use bigger strings and do horrible things to Martin guitars in order to facilitate that. You know, there's a fad in bluegrass of having your bridge pinned, as they say, of shooting screws into the bridge to hold it down because you had... He had really heavy strings on it. Del McCurry, I think, uses a 60 gauge E string, so that I, could, I get it. Those things get heavy. But this is, uh, if I had to get rid of every single guitar that I have and I can only keep one, this is it. This is pretty well balanced. For a, I, it blew my mind. I, I, I sometimes, most of my records now, I'll use this guitar. The last one I used this one and one one Gibson actually uh, Marshall Special it's called that we'll definitely do a show on on one point but uh, had with 11 gauge strings for for John Henry but everything else on uh, Ghost of West Virginia I played the acoustic guitar I played this guitar and this is uh, so I'll do uh, something where I can do you know my my pitiful version of finger picking on so. Every one of the just knew time aims to come to somebody. Whether she ever called us, steel chickens in search of the time he is dead. And one day his daddy took a pen out of bill and tucked it in his hand. He said, I could tell you headed for trouble, son, and your mama wouldn't understand. So I took that money and she put those old man a level out of work. I love you, love. 
of run out from passion, the fears came and went. She was trapped in an island, I believe, with all before she was spent. And I realized praying was the only thing that he had never tried. But I live wasn't sure that he knew quite how, but I looked up to the sky. Say, oh, me nothing, quite no, <clears throat> nothing to you. I ain't asking for a miracle, Lord, just a little bit of luck. No, I ain't never prayed before, but it always seemed to me. Friends the same as Deccan Lot, I don't take no charity. Here right now, Lord, with my back to the wall, can't help but recall how the damn near hung man for stealing a house in Smith, Arkansas. Judge Parker's he's guilty and a gavel came down like a cannon shot. I went away quietly and I began to cry. We sent the preacher down on the cell, said the Lord is your only hope. He's the only friend that you're gonna have when you hit the end of Parker's room. Well, I guess I could have kept on preaching to Christmas, but it turned back on me. I put a homemade blade to that golden throat and I said, Give me the key, give me the key. Call ever had, I'm sure you already know. Had some help from you, Lord. The devil himself is strictly touching the door. Yeah, but who in the hell am I talking to? There ain't no one here but me. And then a cop pulled his pistols and he spit in the dirt and he walked out of the street. 1935, Martin D28. I finally got one.